So this is day 256 of us not knowing what we're doing it. So we're gonna fake it till we make it and we are still on... <laughs> Didn't fall apart. I was waiting for it to. <laughs> we're still on the uh, power coating oven, guys. Okay guys, welcome back. Today we are doing something a little bit on the different side of things, but it should find useful for you guys. Sorry, first thing that was useful was to clean the lens. Now, second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build an oven. So you see we're surrounded by the upper part of my garage, which is a disaster. We All this stuff was stored up here. So don't mind the Prius, we own a couple of them. So let me show you. We have nothing fancy to work with. So this is our garage. This is the upper part of my garage. We were redoing it. We got sidetracked with 15 million other projects and here we are. So we use a household oven. We need to finish this up is what we need to do too. Uh, we use a household oven to power coat. So here is our oven we use for power coating, but we want to power coat bigger things. We're gonna have uh, Jeff's 18 inch rims that need to get done, and you know, maybe some things for my El Camino when it comes time, and whatever the case may be, so we need a big oven. So we have a lot of space that's not being used up here. And you can see I do valve covers on the side, another valve cover there. So we do power coat some stuff. So we are going to make an oven, it's gonna be, Four by five by five, five by four, five by four. Yeah. So we're gonna build an oven in here, five by four. We've never done it before. We just threw some money around and uh, hopefully this works and my garage does not burn to the ground. <laughs> if you're my insurance company, we bought the oven and uh, hopefully my garage doesn't burn to the ground. So what we did find is we're gonna be using the aluminum studs. We've got 30 of them. And then we do have 22 gauge and 16 gauge metal. So obviously we'll go the thicker gauge on the inside to try to keep the heat in. We'll go the thinner gauge on the outside. Also picked up fireproof insulation to run in the inside as well. So less talking for me and let's have some fun building this. So for anyone that's gonna be curious, we will put a list of what we use down in the description. So first thing we're gonna do is build our base, which is gonna be four by four and we're going five feet tall with it. That blinded me in the sun. So he's just gonna mark off, I don't know what he's doing. First. What? So we're doing a four foot base. I've never worked with this stuff before. So. I think we're gonna have to go get cut off. We also what's gonna end up happening. Good thing with that though, it's eight feet long, so you should be able to cut it right in the center. You should be able to cut it here and bend it. Make it into Now, just so we get this on camera, Jeff, you're trespassing if anything breaks and you cut yourself. Um, and him not using his gear is his own decision. Oh, he's going to use it with a knife. I would have cut it with the, with the grinder. That's why I asked for these. But everyone that came to tune in on this was hoping you'd... One of us would eat shit. I think there's a grinder enough on here. I believe... Put a screw in it. So the plan is we're going to move this cabinet out of here. We're going to end up putting this over there because we're going to run dual compressors. And that way we can have our oven right here. we got our sandblasting cabinet. We have our press, our drills and stuff. We're going to move that stuff around. And then we have our parts cabinet here for washing. So we're going to have to start making things a little more organized and finish off some projects. There's seats for the Civic truck. Uh, beige interior with beige other seats over there for their turbo truck and So here's the bottom, uh, Jeff's doing another one right now for the top, and then we're going to build our side. So there's really not much to see here. At the same time, we are doing some DIY on some Prius headlights. We're going to paint them black and buff them later. So, well, not buff them today, but they will be buffed. So it's basically the same thing as top to bottom, literally just trace out your four feet. These are eight feet long, so snip it and then we can fold it in half and be done, and then add the three 
you see two supports in the center there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back once that's done and then we'll show you us building the walls. And then uh, obviously we don't build the front wall because the front wall is going to be a door. So we're going to do a little bit and then have a stud there and then we'll walk you through it. We're learning as we go as well. It shouldn't be too, too bad. So here is the oven. As you see, Jeff is still building walls and uh, getting ready. It must be a little harder for him because he has to hold it. Yeah, it looks like it's pushing it all in. As you see, it's really a big oven. Yeah. It's going to be a decent size oven. Two more studs here. I left these ones out because that's where elements are going to go, so we just don't need a box in around them. So here's the start. You see, there's a caster up there in the left hand corner. We were just checking the heights, obviously. It's still really good. It won't be all that level yet because it's still very flimsy and the front's not done as well. We got to figure out uh, how far we're going for our door. Um, and we got to figure out our elements. Right now, we have two elements because we're going to use that white stove back there, which we are baking headlights in right now so uh, it's being previously occupied so we're going to end up putting the two elements on the bottom i might see if i can get another stove put two elements up top so we'll just crisscross it we'll put an element there element here and then we'll put an element there and an element there i don't know we'll have to do some research to see this is a big oven obviously i knew the design beforehand but until you actually see it it's it's going to be good because we had it planned to go right where that toolbox was. Yeah, which is the size of that toolbox width was. So, as long as it reaches the outlet, which I just thought of. Mm -hmm. We could always get a longer core bit though. You just need some BX cable or something. Yeah, so. So you see we got our brackets on, and now we're going to start putting on the side panels on the inside just to give it a little more strength. So, Jeff is over here, and uh, he's going to start cutting. We got our Prius table out. <laughs> You know, if you had hair, you wouldn't have that issue. <laughs> okay, guys, there's no point in me videoing him cutting a whole bunch of sheets. So we're going to cut the other side. I'll flick you back on, show you what we're doing. So after a few days, Jeff has been working very tedious and long on finishing the oven. So there's a couple of things that's not done, but for the most part, it is done. So first things first, the hinges we got aren't suitable for the weight of the door. I guess it weighs a lot more than we uh, anticipated. Completely. And uh, obviously we don't have a window in the door yet, but we can cut that out, box it in and put a piece of glass in afterwards. Just right now we want to get it using. So I'll show you what we did. Oh yeah, can you ever tell that it needs stronger hinges? Yeah. So as you guys see, now there's a big echo. <laughs> <laughs> we got our rope all the way around in spot we did go the extra bit and we did put high temp caulking in as you see it's good for 650 fahrenheit and we're only going to 430 450 400 actually yeah. so we should be good now we only do have the two elements what happened there there we go there's the two elements right there we are going to put two more at least at the bottom as you see where i'm shining i'm going to get two more but we will wire them up to wire them up we can just take off the outer panel and it should make it heat up a little faster when time permits so you'll see up there in the corner once i step in here is there is our uh, thermometer for our temp so it will shut off and stay out temp and all we did over here is we reused the part of the oven now obviously this is still literally just done 
So what we'll end up doing is we can high heat temp this. We can actually put that onto the side there. We can clean this up. Then these are going to be for the main power. But as you see, the back is done and it's basically just rock well insulation in the inside and uh, just built as a big box. So we're gonna get this moved over. We're gonna fire it up for the first time to see how it works. So one thing we're gonna do, add the angle into the top before it gets hot. You will see that the hinges are not suitable for this at all. When Jeff lifts up on it, you can see how much it actually moves and plays around. So uh, we are gonna need to buy hinges like tomorrow. So the five or $10 hinges is not the option. We're gonna need like the $50 hinges. Well, and also with the other hinges is they'll be able to go into the actual plate or the sheet metal instead of that. So these ones can't. We're going to clean up a few things, move a few things, get it wired up, get it plugged in and do our first test run to see if it holds heat, if it's not going to burn my garage down, which I hope it doesn't because I have two cars I want to save in the garage. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of channel iron and we are going to weld it to the top, somewhat center. Just that way we can put some eye hooks in it and then we can hang our parts from it. Later on, we are going to put some along each side and we're going to make brackets and stuff like that. But for now, this will get the uh, wheels done. And that's basically what we're going to use to test this bad boy out. Hmm. Can you weld overhead or you want me to? I'd rather you. I can, I don't want to. I mean flip flops. That's your fault. <laughs> Need the mask? I'd go over a little more. And then right about like that. If you weld it? No, if I stand up. No, no I think it's easier if you weld it. No, no. I burn my fucking toes. I'm gonna burn my fucking toes. <laughs> Second one back, maybe. Oh. Door closed. Screws under my feet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on, see the build temperature, and then it does. It cuts out as well. We're good to go. So Jeff is plugging it in, turning it up. It is kind of ghetto how we have this set up guys, but this is strictly a home built one. We're gonna actually probably end up buying a proper control unit. But right now we're just using the top of the stove. Yeah. We just wanna see if the, this works first and then we'll add to it and make it better. And clean those wires up. Wow, that's, that would probably be basically all replaced for one one water. So now that it's on, we're just gonna give it some time, we're gonna let it heat up. We'll come back when it's up to temp and we're gonna see how long I'm gonna time it now. So you can see that the light's working really well. Jeff is going to hang, hold on, let me get the light. Jeff is gonna hang a wheel in here. I'd probably go back to the next one. You don't want to hit the door. Mind you right now, it's just a... We're not gonna have a choice because you're gonna have to handle it like this when it comes time. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need to have a hook hanging off of there and a hook on that so you can hook it's it right in. Hard twist. Not nope, what it looks like it. Nope. What's all that stuff? That's all from when they were blasting. 
You'll probably see that, right? What? Oh. Well. What? That's just where they didn't blast enough. That's all. That's what it is. <laughs> As you guys see, this is gonna be our first rim. We're gonna test fit. It is a dual stage powder. It's going black with some glitter bomb on top. I have no idea, but we'll we'll do it as we go. We are gonna. Huh? I can't cut that. We are gonna do it a little differently. We are gonna get some hooks and some circles. That way, we don't have to do how we're doing it right now. That way, it's a little more efficient as well. So let's put this in the oven for the first time and see how it's gonna work. Okay hey guys, we're gonna leave it at that. This is the first coat of base powder of a two stage setup. You see our oven is working good. We're gonna go over the things we're gonna change. We're gonna show you in a different video doing all four rims of two stage powder coat. We do appreciate you checking us out guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and make sure you watch one of these two videos at the end on things that we like to do around the garage guys.